Kimberly Clark, and this is Kimberly Hangs. Hi, I'm, I'm Becky. Yeah, I'm here with my friend Becky Yamamoto, and we're gonna hang in Richmond, Queens. On today's episode, Kimberly and longtime companion Becky take in some of the sights, sounds, and smells of New York's latest it neighborhood, Ridgewood, Queens. They begin their incredible journey on Myrtle Avenue, Ridgewood's main drag, no pun intended. The Myrtle Avenue Business Improvement District, created in 1988, features goods, wares, and apparel on the cutting edge of fashion, society, and culture. The team's first stop on today's tour is Simon, Simon Shoes, Shoes Inc., Inc. Um, where Kimberly attempts credit. to redeem a store credit obtained by returning an ill-fitting pair of quinceanera pumps. Let's watch what happens. Yeah, well, I just have this little um, store credit thing, so I'm gonna maybe try on some stuff and see. What's your highest heel you've ever rocked? Uh, I don't know, like four inches. <laughs> like one of these? Kimberly picks her poison, and Becky finds her fancy as well. It's like, I mean, they're very king and I. Let the fitting commence! Becky tries on some new styles, while Kimberly consults the manager. This one I have a, living. a hope, a chance. A chance. Oh, it's oh. Who? Who's the other drag queen that's buying shoes in this neighborhood? <laughs> In a last-ditch effort, Kimberly turns to the active wear section to try to find the perfect jogging shoe. We have a winner! Simon Shoes, Fertile Avenue. Good business people, fabulous style. Check it out. And in Manhattan, and in the Bronx. And look, they have shoes for your children. I don't have a child, but... Back on the street, Becky's got the scoop. An artisan flea market right yeah. here in Ridgewood. <laughs> Watch all those makeup vlogs and stuff, and especially like the younger girls and the high school where, you know, they do the tag that's like, why do I wear makeup? You know, a lot of them are like, I don't do it for boys, I don't do it for other people, I do it for me, but I don't feel beautiful without it. I don't feel like myself without it. Growing up when I did it, it was like anti-makeup. Yeah. Everyone was like, that's the system, that's traditional beauty. I think now everyone people are like, that's no. so like, I need to look pretty. <laughs> Fuck <Right>. acne. <laughs> Farmer's Market. See, Ridgewood is the new Bushwick. Everyone, check it out. No, please don't. Don't move here. Oh yeah, please, especially if you have money. Becky dishes about her recent first wedding. Should you get married on the beach? I wish. I got married in the same place that Johnny Depp got engaged. So. <laughs> really? Yeah. That shows a level of class. I'm like 10 paces behind Johnny Depp. <laughs> That's where he takes a shit. That's where I have a, a wedding. wedding. 
After a quick romp through residential Ridgewood, Kimberly and Becky come upon the Ridgewood Market at historic Gottshear Hall. Established in 1924 and serving bratwurst to Queens for over 75 years. Welcome to Ridgewood. After schmoozing with Sarah, owner of the market and new Kimberly Clark super fan, Becky and Kimberly decide to do one final lap before landing at the bar. Bath salts every Monday at 11 p.m. at Don Pedro. Doesn't smell as good as this, but it's a great night. Four dollar Bloody Marys never tasted better. The ladies sit back, reveling in a fruitful day, observing the beauty of yore on the historic walls of Gottschir Hall. So what did we learn today? There's a place for us. You never know where you'll find a sister. A moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. And it's never too late to reapply. I'm Kimberly. And I'm Yamamoto. And this has been Kimberly Hang in Bridgewood. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, I can taste that horseradish. <laughs> Yeah.